Dr. Waleed Ferris is a Fox News national security and foreign policy expert who advised both Mitt Romney and Donald Trump during their presidential campaigns. Jillian Turner worked at the White House National Security Council during the Bush and Obama administrations. They both join us here in Washington. Um, so, for, first to you, Waleed, this is something we've seen before in effect, but it's more shocking because it took place where it did, right in the center of central London. Is this part of an offensive? Can we consider this an isolated case? I mean, what, how should we consider this? Look, ideologically, it is an offensive. It's part of an offensive. This is a cosmos of, we don't know if it's jihadists, but terrorists. What stuns me about this operation is when I observed it, a knife in a car. Yes. No machine guns, no explosives, no B7s. That defeats a lot of the systems that we have. How can we detect, how can we vet uh, the weapon? Because now the weapon is the mind. Who is recruiting? Who is uh, basically radicalizing? Are we good at vetting? That question is asked in Europe and now is asked here. Yeah. And I mean, it does seem events like this do add resonance to the debates that we're having about who ought to be let in and the idea that anyone who wants to come here has a moral right or a legal right to come here. Mm -hmm rubs up against this in some real ways, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It does. Um, I, I would add, tack on to what Dr. Ferris was just saying, that to me, this attack is right out of ISIS's playbook. I mean, normally in the aftermath of an attack like this, you have to go out hunting for clues about the perpetrator. But right. in, in this case, it's right in our faces. I mean, ISIS has literally instructed its followers to weaponize vehicles, to carry out attacks in very public places for maximum sort of PR effect and things of that kind of nature. They have uh, they have also instructed people to um, carry out attacks in the very heart to kind of take the fight to the West, take right. it out of get it out of the Middle East, bring it to the heart of Western Europe if you can. So to me, when you get to the point at which you can no longer even state the obvious, it becomes a problem. And that's the, the point at which I feel, we, the point we were getting to of a, of a few months ago. Now the tables have turned, though. And I would say to Mr. Farage, this is the first terrorist attack, major terrorist attack in the Western world under the New World Order with President right, Trump here right. at home, pre, Theresa May in the UK. So le, this is very telling, the and next 48 hours, no, how I think they that's, I think that's exactly right. But as you just believed, I thought wisely, when attacks are committed with vehicles and knives, it suggests that if someone's here to hurt American citizens, there's nothing you can do about it. In a sense, and the other question that it raises, knowing that yesterday we had that big meeting of anti-ISIS with yes. all these ministers, presidents, at the same time you have the question, so if we defeat ISIS in Mosul, if we defeat ISIS in Raqqa, Will this mean that we won't have those ISIS exactly. jihadists here? That's, That's right. a major question. We need another strategy here. It's not just about reducing ISIS geography. Exactly. It's reducing ISIS ideology. Right. The, the defeat him in Baghdad so we won't have to fight him in Boston turns out to be nonsensical. Not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. Exactly. I thought it was nonsensical then. Thanks for joining us, both Thanks. of you.